Hello, this is Derek Overby. I am the Senior Director of Marketing and Social Media here at Roost. And today I'm going to take you through the setup process for the recently announced Roost Social Real Estate application for Facebook. But first I want to show you what a configured application looks like on a business page. So I'm going to go up here to the search box, type in Heather Elias. Heather was one of our alpha testers on this project, gave us a lot of great feedback on the application. We're going to go off to her business page, and as you can see, she has configured the application, and it now appears as a real estate tab on her business page. I click that, now we have a market snapshot of Leesburg, Virginia. Not only looks great, but it has some great data also. So let's look at this a little bit closer. Heather has the ability to put an introduction paragraph, which she has done up here above the map. We have her photo, her name, her title. We have a call to action with a phone number. This is all customizable. She also has a link off to her blog or website. This happens to be to her blog. She can put some marketing text right here. She has a button that can also go off to her blog that she can also customize. Next we have some active listings data from Roost. a market trends graph from Altos Research, school data from education.com, and walkability data from WalkScore. So again, not only does it have some great data, but it also looks great too. So let's go configure one. So we're going to go back up to the search box. We're going to type in Roost, hit the magnifying glass, First thing that comes up, you'll see, is the Roost fan page. If you'd like to fan us, we would be most appreciative, but we are looking for the application. So you want to go over here and click the application, and there it pulls up the Roost Social Real Estate Platform. Go ahead and click on that. Now this is the landing page of the Roost application. It's got a lot of great information. There's a lot of activity going on here. We do tech support out of this. So come back often and check out what's going on. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is on the Welcome tab. We have Print Installation FAQ, so you can download this and follow along as you're configuring. You can also go to the application right out of here. But on that landing page, you can also go to the application by just clicking this button. So the first thing you're going to see is it's going to ask you to allow access. Go ahead and click allow here. And then you're going to take a ride over to step one of configuring the application. Now there's two paths that we can go here. One is that you already have a fan page and those will show up down here. Another one is that you can create a new fa Facebook page and we've given you a link right there. But we're going to assume that you already have a fan page. It's going to say next to it on the settings, create profile. You're going to click that and you're going to be jettisoned off to step two. Now what I want to bring to your attention is there's a preview pane here. So everything that I do over here will show up in the preview pane. And it's all in real time. So if I go to California, I'm going to go down to uh, San Francisco because that's where we're located. Now because this is tied to your personal profile, when I go to find a headshot photo, it's going to pull up my profile pictures off of my personal profile. But I happen to have a professional headshot in there, so I'm going to put that there. We can also change the title. I've already done this before, so it's auto-filling, so we'll just go a little quicker. I can say, contact me now, and again, as you see, that changes that right over there. When I put the new number in, my direct office line, again, changes right there. I could put in roost.com. And then we can put in that marketing copy. And 
that appears right above your button. Another thing that you need to do is put up your logo or image. Now this pulls the last five folders that you put up on your personal profile. So I happen to put up a folder that was of my company logo. So if I click that, and again, that appears right there. I can also change this button name. Call it, click here for more info. And now we're down to the introduction copy that I was showing you on Heather's page. So we can do that. The other thing that I showed you was the data that we had from Altos Research, Education.com, and WalkScore. You can choose to turn those off if you feel like it, or you can leave them all on. If they're all checked, they're going to be on if they're available for your city. Last thing we do here is save the settings. So we're down to just a couple more steps. Step three, you can click right here to complete this step. What it does is it takes you back to the social real estate platform application page. The next thing that you need to do is add it to your page. So it will come back to your page and then you just have to click up here, add to page. This will put the application on your business page. So we want to check that out. If we go back to my real estate business page. And as you see, they have the tabs here, but we don't see the real estate. Facebook gives you the opportunity to control where your tabs go and which ones show up. So if you're an admin, you'll see this nice little plus here. If you click on that, there is the real estate tab down there. And we can also take this and move this over and highlight it more. Now you can't make this tab go past info or wall. These are set but you can make it your third tab. So there is our completed tab and we have configured the application. Thank you very much.